Hello and welcome back. This is Rafi once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a new domain name with your Hostinger hosting package and then how to install WordPress and start building a website on the domain. So here's the story. I have purchased a domain name on Namecheap and the domain name is here, this one. Now we're going to connect this domain name with our Hostinger hosting package and we're going to start building a WordPress website step by step throughout this video so let's proceed to start the process we are gonna sign into our hosting account and then obviously we need a domain name which i already have so after signing into your hosting account simply go to websites from the left hand side and then you're gonna find this option your hosting package name and then add website button right here so i'm gonna click on add website after that, if you are creating a website while they are testing some of the features on Hostinger, you might gonna see this option. Otherwise, there will be no such option while you are making the, um, like say, while you are adding your domain name, right? So as I am saying this, so I'm gonna select this one to agree with their terms and then let's click on next. After that, they're gonna ask us, how do you want to test the new infrastructure? So we are basically gonna create a new website. So I'm gonna click on create new website after that, let's click on next. Then they are gonna ask us to provide our WordPress account login credentials. So these are the details that we're going to use to sign in to our WordPress backend. So I'm gonna put or keep this email as my admin email, and then I'm going to use a password. So let's choose the password. Okay, so I provided my password. Now let's click on next. After that, this is the part where we are about to start connecting the domain name. So let's go back to the Namecheap account and then let's get the domain name. So I'm gonna copy the domain name from here. Let's copy. Let's go back to the Hostinger backend and then we're gonna paste the domain name right here. After that, it is going to try finding some additional details about the domain. As you can see here, healthonly.com and they're asking, do you own this domain? If you do, then use it. Or if you want to purchase some other domains, you can purchase them from here. So as I already own this domain, as I have shown in the name chip, so let's select this one. After that, you can use this domain for your website, but you will need to connect it manually, which we are going to learn now. So let's click on next. And now they started building the website for us. So let's just wait while they are working. Okay, so they brought us to this page directly, but they should have given us the uh, DNS records, which we can connect right here. So since they didn't provide us the DNS records, what, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a search on Google to get the DNS records. So let's type out Hostinger DNS records or DNS servers. So I'm gonna uh, open up this one. Here we go. These are the name servers. I'm going to add the link into the video description for you. So I'm going to copy the first name server from here and I'm going to go back to Namecheap and then we're going to click on manage for this domain, right? So I'm going to click on manage. And after that, you're going to be landed on this page, as you can see here under the domains uh, tab. So if you scroll a bit down, you're going to find this option name servers. Then we're going to see that it is currently set to Namecheap Basic DNS, which we have to make a change on. So I'm going to click here. After that, we're going to put on or click on Custom DNS. And after that, we have to paste the name server 1 and name server 2, which we are going to find on this page, right? So I have already copied this one, so the first name server. So I'm going to go back and paste it right here. And let's go back to this page. We're going to take the second name server. And let's go back and add this right here. After that, let's click on this check mark or the save page. Now, what it's gonna do, DNS server update may take up to 48 hours to take effect. So we have done the process. Now it might gonna take a few minutes to up to 48 hours to get propagated. And we should be able to visit the WordPress website from here. When, oh, oh here you go. The website is already installed and now we are being able to access the website um, right away, right? So it was fast. 
So here we go. We can see that the website is already been installed. So sometime it might gonna take a few minutes. Sometime it might gonna take few hours. And as you can see here, it just worked instantly. So this was the process how we can install WordPress or actually add a new domain to your hosting our hosting account and how you can start installing WordPress. Now you can sign into the WordPress backend and customizing the website depending on your need. So this was the tutorial. I believe you have found this helpful. If you have got any issues, if you face any issues or if you have got any question, please feel free to let me know by commenting below. It would be my pleasure to help you out with new videos. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye bye.